In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the focus point exercise for photography. This is an example of what your finished slide in your portfolio might look like at the end of this project. You'll have a title on it that says focus point exercise with three images and each of the images will be labeled. We'll talk more about this at the end of the presentation. First of all, you need to choose what priority to set the camera on, and we're going to choose aperture priority. Let's look at how you do that. Number one, move the mode dial to AV. Here's AV on the dial. You simply twist that until it lines up with this little white dash. Number two, move this dial to change the aperture, which is also called the f-stop. So you simply move this with your finger. Number three, this is where you will see the aperture setting. Choose the smallest number possible. On this camera, the smallest number is 5.6, but some of the cameras in this classroom will go down to four. The next thing that you need to set is the ISO. This is the ISO button, so simply click that, and then once uh, you get the ISO options, use these arrows to select auto. Then click set. Next, we're actually going to talk about how to set the focus point. Number one, push the focus point button right here, and you actually have to push it and keep holding it. Number two, move the dial by the shutter button to change the focus point. You can actually only see it just a tiny bit poking up right here, so I put another image right here. It's this dial. This is the one that you move. Number three, move the dial until the focus point is on the object you want to be in focus. You may need to change the setting every time you change compositions. So um, as you move that dial, each one of these will light up. And when you look through this eyepiece, as soon as the focus point that's on your object lights up, then you can stop because you have it set to the correct spot. These are the materials that you need. Three objects. So choose any small objects that will stand up on their own or with the aid of a prop like a clothespin. For example, scissors, rulers, toys, things from your backpack, etc. So you can pretty much use whatever small objects you can find in the classroom. Just make sure that you don't leave them out on the quad and you return them in good condition back to where you got them from. The location is either the quad or room 401, which is our room and try to take your photos so that distracting elements do not show. So all of my photos were taken on the quad and you'll notice that you can't see any trash cans, any ugly cement things, any asphalt. So make sure that you uh, notice those types of things and you keep them out of your photographs. After you take your photos, uh, return to class. These are the rules for the quad. Do not hang out on the quad after you're finished. Do not leave the quad and do not go to PE, the bathroom, or any other classrooms. Here's the setup. Place the objects in a diagonal line with several inches of space between them, as you can see in this photograph. Where to stand? Crouch or lay in front of the objects so they are at eye level with the camera. So depending on where you set this up, you might have to actually lay down on the floor. Setup continued. Look through the eyepiece. You must look through the eyepiece because the focus point feature is disabled if you use the LCD screen view. So you cannot use um, this part of the camera to look at your setup. You have to look through the eyepiece. And the last one for setup, focus the camera. Once you have selected the focus point, then press the shutter button halfway down to focus and then all the way down to take the photo. This is the shutter button right here. So as you push it halfway down, this will move until it focuses. Once it stops moving, then it's safe to take the camera by pushing this all the way down. So here's a close up of the images and the camera so that you can see what settings I had the camera on. So for this one, I wanted the king to be in focus. So I chose this focus point right here. You'll notice that these two are out of focus. Next, I wanted the three to be in focus. So this is the focal point that I chose right here. And then for the last one, 
I wanted the 10 to be in focus. So this is the focus point that I chose right here. So once you take all those um, photos, you need to bring them back to the classroom. And it's always um, a good idea to take a couple more than what you need. Or if you come to the classroom and you find out that your images didn't turn out the way that you wanted to, you should go back and retake them. So once you um, get them onto the computer, choose the three best images and do any uh, Photoshop alterations that you need. For example, make them brighter, um, change the levels, that type of thing. Then use the snipping tool to do a screen capture and copy and paste them onto a separate sl uh, onto a slide in your portfolio. Then for each one, I'd like for you to make a text box and label which object you were focusing on. So you can see here king, 10, and 3. You can set these up however you want. I chose to make my favorite one really large and make the other two small. You don't have to do it that way. I'm going to leave it up to you um, and however you want to accomplish that. That's it for this video.